crazy historic times we're going through right now. And a lot of people want to know what a guy like you is thinking. You know, you're stuck at home, all you have are your thoughts. You know, I feel like it's just a time of Hashem really pulling us close to Him, you know? And that's why I took it personally, me, myself, I've taken the, um, I guess, the initiative to really do a lot of soul searching during this time, you know? Um, I have a room in the house, I've kind of been in my own bidud, um, in my room, and just really reflecting. A lot of prayer, a lot of tefillah. Um, and I feel like that's what he's asking from the whole entire world right now. You know? I love that, absolutely. What keeps your optimism? How, what's the hope and what's your lesson to people watching? Well, listen, you know, there's, there's, there's plenty of things. Me personally, I'm a person of faith, right? So um, uh, we have a Torah, we, we have a Shem, we, you know, we have, we have Naveen. Um, corona ain't in there. You know what I'm saying? At the beginning, the middle, or the end. So as major as this may feel right now, it's a very minor thing in terms of where we are in, in humanity and, you know, what will be. So if you're a person of faith, this really ain't, it's not nothing to phase you. Um, so I, I keep looking forward towards, uh, you know, the, the time where, you know, we're able to get back to normal life. And, and get out to give more people chizik and, and to be in the world. And I feel like, you know, everybody at this point right now is sort of waiting and starting to realize, you know, how special certain people were in their life that they never really, you know, uh, they never really connected with um, how important certain gatherings was, how important shul is, how important, you know, these things that we may have taken for granted, I feel like right now this is going to be like, you know, the best, uh, uh, what, do you, what do you mean, best rebound, you know, back to back to regular life. Okay, so tell me something that you're looking forward to that maybe not many people know that you like to do, but you are looking forward to it after COVID. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing Simchas again, you know. Um, seeing kids, you know, in the bar mitzvah and, and, you know, graduations, a lot of stuff got held up and I think for me, that's been one of the toughest things, you know, I've been getting so many, like, requests to, to do, and I can't do them all, so it's, you know, it's nearly impossible, but um, just being able to see people, you know, celebrate their simchas, whether I go to the hotel and there's, you know, 10 bar mitzvah boys there, and being able to say something, give them all chizik, and, and for them to be inspired, and that be a part of their experience in coming to Eretz Yisrael, you know, those type of things you definitely, definitely miss, and I can't wow. wait to get back to. Nisim, thank you so much for your time, man. Thank Amazing, you. and I know you're a busy guy, so we extra appreciate it, and keep inspiring, my friend. Uh, keep doing what you're doing. Thanks, man.